afternoon. Welcome to 90 Minutes Live Match Highlights. We are at the uh, Yvette Brewer Stadium. A nice big stand here. And uh, home of Biggles Ray Town, who are just warming up here. And uh, they are facing Ware, who are just over the other side. Just zoom in, take a look at them, warming up over there. So, uh, good day for uh, Biggles Ray Town. They can win the Southern League Division 1 Central title today with a draw. Where we are already in the playoffs, but they need a uh, they need a win to have a chance of a home tie, and uh, the playoff semi final will take place uh, next week, either Tuesday or Wednesday. So uh, keep posted and keep updated if you are interested on that. Mostly, we are on social media. We are on Twitter or X and Instagram, which is 90 minutes at the HR. We're also on TikTok and Facebook, which is 90 Minutes Live. So, uh, live commentary coming up, and uh, obviously the match highlights as well. So, uh, before we get on with that though, let's take a look at the two-team lineups. How have they come then for the final time on a Saturday afternoon? Until the pre-season will start again in July. Wearing chain strip, orange shirts, black shorts, Biggles Wade Town in all green. The the seven, uh, team news, well, Paul Halsey said he might make changes seven, and he has done Monday. just that because where we'll start with uh, Fred Burbage in goal, a back four which uh, will consist of Ben Siggers, Echo Goka, Lewis Rose, the captain and Jack Grosvenor. Quite in which order we will wait to see. In uh, central midfield, well, Alex Warman has made such a difference since uh, he arrived alongside Freddie Moncur, who's preferred to make uh, And uh, George Ironton back in the lineup as well as Ben Drake drops Rose, to the bench. Rosa, and the front Rory, three Monker, will be Theo Afori. Kieran Bishop Bennett, gets a start the in the centre Berman, of attack. Wilson, and Richard Ennin will play wide Andrews, on the left-hand side. The uh, where substitutes Morell, Joe Deere and Jack Dreyer, and David Soto, Mitch Mon, and John Clements, who of course started this season here with the Biggles Town. He scored uh, seven goals for them before reverting to Watson Park and joining where they're going to finish top of the pile or not. It's between Biggleswade Town and Bedford as away we go in this one at Langford Road. Bedford at home to North Lee you would expect. Nothing's been certain in this division this season but one thing you would expect is Bedford winning that one. Well, that's what they've got to do here. Our other two teams, by the way, are uh, uh, in action. Long journeys for Hartford at Kidlington, and even longer ones on Welling Garden City at Siren Sester. Wish them well to uh, finish in a positive note. Hartford, a good result in uh, midweek against the Biggles away team, of course. As uh, the ball drops and he's hoofed on by Garen Forbes. And here goes uh, away. There's uh, Harry Draper, but it's uh, in the head there was the linesman's flag on the far side, and that thing that happens with spectators. They're all going, oh, they didn't see when he looked offside. Linesman hasn't got his flag up, but of course we have this silly rule where uh, we have to actually touch the ball and it has to come into play before the flag goes up on the far side. And the crowd will look and go, oh dear, he was offside anyway. Yeah. Here's way town and where? where uh, by us, but where are the team that are trying to play the football at the moment? It's uh, born along the line for George Ironton, who's got a bit of space to move into. George, right inside of the box, pulls it across the box. It's cleared only as far as Theo Afori. Theo's got it again and curls it in to the bottom right hand corner. Because Wade Town didn't get it clear. Theo Afori scores once again for where it's 14 of the season for Theo. And with 19 minutes of the first half gone, where he hit the front and leave 1 0. First goal for uh, Ware. 19 minutes. Scored by number 7, Theodopolis Afori. So Bills made a uh, bright start for the opening five minutes, but I uh, think Ware a good value for their advantage at the moment. The leader here. By Golds Mill on uh, final Saturday on 90 Minutes Live in association with Easy Shelf Direct. Briggs wins the ball in the air, forward by uh, Kieran Forbes, and uh, Draper's making life difficult and pushes the ball just wide of the target. As he beat Lewis Rose to it, 
Fred Burbage came out and the Harry Draper's right foot just put it wide of the target. Luke Andrews, Luke Andrews onto the halfway line, beckons Morrell forward. Morrell gives it back to the uh, number six, plays it to uh, Forbes. Forbes again, this near side to uh, Morrell. Morrell then with the lift, left boot curls it to the edge of the area, easy meet for Jack Grosvenor. Alex Warman goes over, there's a big wrestle for the ball, it will break for Draper putting the ball just wide of the target, it was bouncing around like a pinball and it was Harry Draper's effort that didn't go far wide. Still inside the uh, Biggers Way Town half, five minutes to go before half time. John Lacey has pulled out on his left hand side, Lacey still going forward, is Lacey still going, ball bounces on the edge of the area and then a flag goes up on that far side and uh, you've got to say that John Lacey is by far the bigger the bunch as far as home side are concerned. Long ball forward by Jack Morrell meets the head of Jack Grosvenor. Richard Ennin will bring it back down and that's going to be it for 45 minutes plus uh, seven in the end added on by our referee Mr Mayhew. Half time here at the uh, Langford Road Stadium. Way out one the goal coming after 19 minutes. One. It's George Ironson's drive into the box that got the ball across. Biggersway Town couldn't get it clear until before he curled it into the bottom left hand corner for his 14th goal of the season. So far so good if you're listening from where so far so good are you listening from Bedford long way to go but uh, half time Bill's way down nil where one and uh, I feel before he's standing there with the wind blowing in this uh, second half it looks freezing I think he's looking around thinking I wish I had one of those uh, undershirts that Echo Goker and Freddie Moncur have got keep the arms warm as the uh, game gets back underway in the second half here of the freezing Langford Road. Well, what did the home management team say to their team at half time? I'm sure Paul and Joe just said more of the same, please, as uh, Echo Goga thumps the ball forward and uh, it's collected by the goalkeeper uh, Jack Berman. From the goal. Echo Coker's just got a yellow card for taking too long with the throw in. That far side, third wear player uh, in the book. Far side, it's Morrell. Morrell's chip ball forwards over the top of Jack Grosvenor. Wax against Lewis Rose. Everybody shouting for a penalty. The ball's put in the back of the net. It's put in by Luke Andrews. The ball was bouncing about like a pinball. Where yeah, couldn't get it clear. And it's Luke Andrews who's equalised. The Biggles way down. And the championship is back on for the home side. So Gordon and Lacey, Fred Burbage has got to get his angles right here. He's happy he's done so. It's a big werewolf. It's got Jack Grosvenor, Echo Goker in it. Always would be with those two there. So is it going to be Gordon or Lacey? It's going to be Lacey who's going to take care. All the way in and it's gone in. What a right hand for it for that. This one's turned on its head. And John Lacey has given Biggles way down the lead. After 69 minutes, two goals. In four minutes. Another goal for the Raiders. The 70 minutes. Trophy J.J. Lacey. It's heading its way to Langford Road at the moment. And we're heading out on their travels on Tuesday or Wednesday night. Game's turned on its head. And we're looking at the moment at an away playoff semi-final. But who knows as Echo Coca comes forward and uh, wins a free kick. Paul where Paul has got of his own thoughts on the, the defending, which has uh, led to the goals. And, uh, free kick, but there's nothing that Fred Burbage could do about it. It's got to be said, one of those low ones that uh, kept the goalkeeper out. At the moment, Ware have given the ball away, and Big uh, Way Town have got their backs up there as uh, ball breaks the edge of the area. It's John Lacey again. Oh, I've got him! And that surely. It's the championship for Biggles Waite Town. Two in two minutes for their top scorer. 17 league goals in the season for John Lacey. It's Biggles Waite Town three, where one. Rampant Waiters. 71 minutes, JJ Lacey again. 
Jordan will take the uh, free kick. Well, sorry, takes it short to Kieran Forbes on the uh, edge of the area. Draper's given the chance to turn. And <laughs> the ball in. Well, I think it's just been put on a promotion cake by Harry Draper. Where won't be happy with the defending at all. But the ball's in the back of the net with four minutes remaining. Biggles Way Town four. Where one? Congratulations goes, to the Wagers. The player goes off from the far you know side. They Come are on. the champions. Hey, 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 hey. Jack Berman has the ball and the goal away to our left hand side. A uh, minute to go, Simon. What were your thoughts? Um, no, 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 I, mean, I, I, I think. Um, you know, he's coming to the site. Uh, the referee's indicated an additional seven minutes of added time. Oh, super save by Fred Burbage. Really, they're up there. It's a uh, look to make it 5 1. The goalkeeper tips it over. Well done, Freddie. I can't disagree with that. As uh, Ben Siggers brings out Joe Dearman on the far side, all Joe can do is head it tamely towards Bernard Christie, and suddenly the break could be on here for Biggles Ray Town. Echo Coker gets in the way of Christie, and Echo is going to get himself a yellow card, followed by a red. Now Echo Coker has been sent off, and that could be costly for a playoff semi final. Well, we've got the thoughts of Paul Orsi, not only on the result, but on the red guard. Yeah. That's it, it's all over. And the cheers of the crowd tell you, the biggest way down as a champion for Southern League Division 1 Central. Congratulations to them, they've beaten Ware here by four goals to one. And they will be Bottom playing at the, step uh, three next, next season. Four, we where we'll one. be joining them or not? Well, that remains to be Which seen. The 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 they still a playoff semi-final to come. A playoff semi-final in the week. It'll be it Tuesday be or Wednesday. It will be away from home, wherever. And the likely well, destination, the as far as we know, will mop up those, uh, and, uh, we'll mop up those uh, results stay. from everywhere else. But it looks very much uh, where we'll have a playoff semi-final away at Bedford, the uh, uh -huh, where players making their way back to the uh, dressing room. There's still work to do for uh, the square team. It could still end in glory for them if they're going to join Bingsway Town in the uh, step three next season. Then they're going to have to win. Well, we are going up. Is the uh, is the uh, cheer? Certainly wish them good luck at the next level because the last two teams to go, the last four teams to go up to the next level, have come straight back down. So we certainly hope that doesn't before. Biggers Way Town, it is a big jump, but I've been there before, of course. They were so Presentation of the Biggers Way Town. They are this season's champions in Southern League, Division 1 Central. And that's been probably the strange, one of the strangest seasons I've ever taken part in. I think it has been, yeah. It's, it's 